Hey guys, UWG Nick here and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World. Today we are trying out something new. And those of you sharp of eye can see that I'm no longer wearing my hunting horn. I decided to try the Kinsect Glaive. I've been practicing a little bit with it and uh, I like it. I like this weapon. It's like the polar opposite of the hunting horn in the sense that it's fast and it's very mobile. Where, this, where the hunting horn is super slow. And like really heavy so I'm gonna play with this for a while um, I'm not very good with it yet keep that in mind but uh, I can do some damage oh part I wish I could take to the skies <laughs> seriously a flying research base what's not to like about that so this is what we're doing today we have a new quest we have a new assignment it's something about balloons ballooning problems uh, hunter pa Paulumu. okay uh, we could catch that maybe i know what the palumu is i've seen it as i've been doing expeditions which i did in order to get um this uh in kinsect glaive that i have which is a i think it's the hold on let me let me check what it is i can i can show you uh where am i uh equipment info there we go i have a blooming glaive 2 which is the Uluyaku. no it's the okay okay three Puke Puke Tree, that's what it is. It has poison and shit, and health boost, and it's cool. And my Kinsect, I don't even know what my Kinsect have currently. I think it's Paralysis. It doesn't matter. We're, he we're heading out. Why discuss this any further? Either way, the Kinsect Glaive is an interesting one, but it seems like most weapons, or at least the more complex weapons in this game, have some kind of gimmick to them. Right. Now, the you managed to convert the research base to blah, blah, blah. Okay. I need to hunt the Paolum. Okay. So, the the, 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 the gimmick with Kinsect Glaive is the Kinsect. If you look on my arm where I usually have my crossbow, there's a big-ass bug there that you can see. That thing uh, shoots out, collects um, essence from enemies. Different parts give get different essence, and that's the one, two, three that you see underneath my uh, health bar there on the left. And uh, when I get all three of them... The, the first one, the, the number one is like attack, the second one is speed, and the third one I think is defense. If I get all three of them, I get Super Saiyan mode, and I can wail the fuck out of enemies, which is pretty cool. Uh, but getting, managing to get the buffs is a bit of a, 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 a tissy, a tiffy, tiffy. So you have to shoot out your insect, and that thing flies around and collects stuff from the enemy. Of course, making it aggressive in the in the process. This is probably something to do with balloons, isn't it? Ah, uh, either way, making it aggressive, and uh, then when you hit different parts of it and call back the bug, you can collect those essences off the bug and get the corresponding buffs. It cannot collect more than one essence at a time, so it needs to kind of keep bouncing between you and the enemy. Uh, and otherwise it just kind of buzzes around and is annoying for the enemy. So it's 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 neat all the way around Let's see. Can we find? Could we just see it like immediately? I don't think so. I Think like if we go down and go up here, that's a good place to find it uh, At least tracks from it Could I just jump? Really I, there's no fall damage. Can I just leap? Oh, yeah Right click and you leap. That's the one uh, another thing that I want to collect while we're here is um, the mining nodes because there's something called coral crystal. They get rarely out of these and they seem to be used for a lot of stuff. I've also found dragonite ore out of one of these which is used for like the next rank up of weapon. I think this is a rank 3 weapon. I'm not sure. I mean it said like 2 on the description, but I believe that means it's rank three because the first one is nothing, then it's rank one, then it's rank two. So the third, third grade, whatever you want to call it. Well, let's just call it a rank two weapon. Why make it complicated? Where did I say I wanted to go? Over there. Gotcha. I don't really know what my bounties and things are at the moment, so I'm just collecting stuff as we go. Now, the cool thing about the insect glaive is that you have. Well, I guess we have to get those old feathers before we do anything else. I mean, I guess I could show you right here. Uh, I can vault. Which also means I can vault 
and then dash, and then do yet another dash, and more attacks. Like, if I hit on the third dash, I can uh, do all kinds of fun things. So this means the Insect Glaive is a very, like, uh, mobile weapon. If we can... Ah, shit, I missed. Oh, well, it died. Cool. So there's, there's a lot to learn uh, movement-wise with this weapon, and I am far from being, like, any good at it yet. But... Uh, we shall still use it to hunt down this thing. The fuck? It didn't look like that last time. Don't worry, it has a it has a definitely has a different shape. There we go. Okay, so now I need to like start off with uh, getting this. Wait, what did I do? Oh yeah, because I didn't have my weapon out. I need to have my weapon out, then I can send my bug to collect stuff. And there we have the first one. There we have. Oh shit! If I could. Oh shit! Almost. If I can get at the head now, I can get the third buff. That didn't happen. New. New. Yes. Yeah, now we have the th all three of them. So now we're super powered, which is cool. Now we can do all kinds of, like, fancy footwork kind of stuff. And also, thanks to the, like, uh, the vault mechanic, I have a good chance of mounting this thing at pretty much any given time. I don't need those ledges anymore. With the vault mechanic, I can just get up on it. I'm going to do that in a bit, but since I have all my three buffs, and groundwork is where you can really do damage with this thing. I'm gonna try to... Ah, shit. I fucked that up. Oh, didn't get it. Oh, well. Down from there. Woo! You're an angry one. Oh, okay. It's shooting shit at me. That's a thing. Oh, wow, this guy is actually wrecking house right now. Oh! Well then. We'll have to do that again. That was unfortunate. Let's, before we head out... Oh, I should have done a bunch of stuff before I came on this mission. Like, eaten something. Uh, maybe I can eat something here. I really know what they're offer here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some shit. Wrong button. Give me the canteen. Uh, pay with money. Custom platter. Do you have anything fresh? You have that thing. That one. Do you have anything else? Mm. The menu is ass. That's fresh. That's fresh. Fresh gives you a better chance of getting uh, like buffs. I don't know. I'm in a plus 25. Actually, that sounds pretty good, but I, I need like, I need to have like a fourth one for some reason. Sure, confirm. Eat that. See, I was hunting for stamina up because uh, the Kinsek Glaive, that's not what I ordered. The Kinsek Glaive uses a lot of stamina. So whatever you can do to boost your stamina and reduce uh, stamina consumption is a good thing. Mm -hmm. All right, stamina plus 25. We can still eat a... Actually, I think we have, we're gonna end up having to grill. Yeah. I'm gonna grill and get a another stamina buff with the meat. If I can just land it. Now eat that shit. Is it that one? Well done, steak, eat it. So now we have all kinds of buffs and now we can retry that dickless chap. I'm going to hunt him down, and you don't have to watch, and yeah, see you when we're fighting him. Alright guys, we found him again. I'm going to start having to have to start with my buffs. Eat him. Shit. It did not, did not go for me. Ooh. 
God damn it. Get the head, get the head, get the head, get the head, get the head. Ooh, okay. I need a wing, I think. There we go. Yeah, now I have all three. And let's start wrecking house again. All the combos. Slice them as much as you all oh, come on. Get back up. Oh, no, he came down. Never mind. Oh, fuck off. I want to get up on top of him. Shit, I missed. Should be able to slide here. Ah, he got the fucking. Oh, shit. I want to mount him. That's like today's mission. Oh, fuck off. Let me mount. Let me mount. Okay, we're not gonna mount. There we go. I'm on top. Uh, there's also an interesting thing about this whole mounting thing. Like, if I move and attack, I can do, like, these serial combo things. Well, uh, it's not a serial. It's just he slashes many times. It doesn't do much damage, to be honest. It's an interesting thing to be able to do when you have when you're used to the hunting horn, which couldn't do stuff like that. There we go. I'm on his head. I should bring him down now. There we go. We already have all the combo or the buff, so we we will just try to chop the shit out of him. Oh crap. Uh, that F button really doesn't help me at all. I've also noticed something that might be something that blade weapons do. Uh, you see that when it like bounces off them every now and then? I have a feeling that that is uh, because my sharpness goes down. It hasn't been explained, so I'm just guessing. But it seems to not happen when I have full sharpness. I haven't decided if we're going to catch or kill this thing yet. We'll start by running after it, at least. Do I need anything? Not right now, no. We should chug a demon potion. I have a demon strength. Demon drug. That's probably something that'll help me. Probably should have used it later, but maybe we're close to him. Who knows? I thought I saw him, so. There he is. Ugh. Oh, crap. Get the. Wah! Wah! I can also, like, tag him with honey. Oof! Okay. I have two of them already. Get his get his wings. Get something out of him. I feel like he's gonna do something crazy now. Oh, I will wail on him with what we got right now. I need to like hit his wing or or leg. I'm honestly not sure which. Oh, I rolled into him. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Yes, there we go. Come back. There we go. Full fucking everything. Oh shit, I'm already in. God damn it, stop that. Uh, there's an annoying thing with computer is that if you have C, if you press C, you get locked into this like ranged mode. Which, in the heat of battle, you might not notice, and then you're just standing there shooting your bug at him instead of doing massive amounts of damage, which is what you want to be doing. Also, something I haven't explained is sometimes my bug leaves these clouds behind him. Those clouds are, uh, if I hit them 
they contain an elemental effect. Kind of like the paralysis frog or sleep toads or whatever you want to call them. All these like uh, environmental things that can be found. Is my weapon really that low already? Jesus. I'm gonna try to get up above him. If I can. Oh. Where'd he go? He's, he's dodging us. So, the one thing that I'm a little bit miffed about with this weapon is how quickly it loses sharpness. It wasn't really like a big thing with the hunting horn. Probably because it doesn't have an edge to begin with. Or like, what's gonna get dull? But, uh... This loses sharpness real fucking fast. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's one of those. We fought one of those in the last episode, I think. It's the Tatsiki, Yaku, whatever, something like that. Yo! Where'd you go? Oh, fuck off. Can I just get at him? Nope, that's not. You know I'm in C mode again. That's super annoying. Okay. Note to self, have your weapon out if you're gonna send your bug anywhere. Ooh. Well, I just went down all the way. He came with me. I don't know if I consider that a good thing. God damn it, now I need some fucking help. Can't get help. Oh, not Wigger Wasp. Delivery. Okay, well, that helped. Okay. I really need to like get some distance between me and him. Shit. What is up with this guy? He refuses to leave me alone. No, not raw meat. Fucking potion. Alright, well. If he's gonna be a dick about it, we might as well be a dick back. Man, I wish I could see what the fuck he's doing. Because he's being a massive a-hole. You run away again? Good. Give me a breather. Oh, my bug was out. Okay. Where'd he go? I should collect those sleep herbs, but we don't have any sh power shrooms either, so I can't make any sleep potions anyway, or sleep bombs. Uh, what do I... I need to learn how to do the bug. So here's the thing. The same button for crossbow is the one that's used for your bug. But if you have your weapon out, it's for bug. If you have crossbow out, it's for crossbow. I got one of the buffs. Hmm. Got two of the buffs. Now I need to hit his tail. I can do that. Is that the third one? Yes, it is. Now let's get on top of this son of a bitch. Oh, okay. And get at him. So yeah, there's a bunch of shit you can do with uh, this weapon, which is really cool. I don't know where he is. Something happened. I don't know what. Can you just die by it already? Okay, I'm out of sharpness. Like, badly. Well, not that bad, to be honest. I 
still have my buffs. Oh, he's weak. Ah, shit, didn't get it. Where'd he go? God damn it. Flew off away again. This guy sucks. Did he go back up there? Really? I'm gonna... He's not really that badly hurt anymore, though. I can tell on the map there's an exclamation mark above him. Yeah, but it's not... It's not a skull. Skull is when it's, like, pretty sure that you're gonna get him. If you uh, try to capture them. And capturing this thing would be interesting. And I do have paralysis traps with me, and I also have smoke bombs. Now let's slow it down a little bit, because I think this is its home. Got two of them, I think. Come back to me. You have... Where'd it go now? God damn it. Is it coming back? What's the deal here? Coming back. Okay. Let's drop a electrical trap for him. See if we can get him with that. And in the meantime, get my weapon out. Okay. We're doing this. You go down. Yay! Sweet! Oh, uh, it's always nicer to capture them. You get more stuff for it. I'm pretty sure I sliced his fucking tail off anyways. Excellent. That's an ugly monster. I mean, it's pretty cool, but the whole balloon thing was weird. So, I don't know. I really, as you can see, like the momentum and the movement, the agility in fights with the insect glaive was something completely different compared to the hunting horn. And even though I really like the hunting horn buffs, I have to admit this insect glaive like fighting style is, is really like, it's interesting. It's a lot more interesting than the hunting horn. The hunting horn made my first impression of this game be that it's very slow and clunky. But this insect glaive is is the agility, the mobility, and it's not that difficult to get the essences once once you understand the system and what you're looking for. So yeah, the insect glaive is a lot more fun, at least for single player. Uh, single player, at least for people who play solo, it's a lot more fun. Now let's see what we got. We got some Paulumus scale, Paulu, Paul, scale shells. I got a bone L, bloom of pelt. We got like all of this. Monster bone L, sturdy bone. I actually needed that for something. Can't remember what. Got a coral crystal. That's nice. What do we get as extra? Webbing. Ooh. Breaking its wings. Nice. Mm, most of the as a reward. Okay. Well, we got like pretty much everything from that little beast. Hunter rank seven. All right. Great! That one, that turned out fantastic. Now let's see what they needed, what they wanted, like, the balloon thing for. <laughs> I should be reading this uh, out loud, I forgot. At last, blah blah blah, the balloons have been rigged and the airship is ready. All thanks to you and the airship engineer. We've completed preparations on our side as well. We can depart whenever you're ready. However, I do have one thing worth mentioning. We need we never bothered with the test flight. That's not going to be a problem for you, is it? <laughs> I got my insect glaive. I'm good. When you're ready, just say the word and we'll make our descent into Rotten Vale. So we're getting uh, another you area? Prepare before you head down to the Rotten Vale? Yeah, probably. Yo. What do you want? Nice work getting the balloons all hooked up. We make a good team, huh? I saw the airship engineer bursting his butt and bursting, busting his butt too. And now the airship is ready. I hope to God he wasn't bursting his butt. Right, is there anything, there's a quest here. What is this? Right. What do you want? Right, I meant to tell you. I was wandering the Coral Highlands looking for materials for the airship and I got to thinking, 
It would be a lot easier to move around the Coral Highlands if I put together a rope lift, yes. So I put in a request at the resource center for the parts I need. I think I, it'd make things a lot more convenient, so it'd be, I, it'd be great if you could help out. I'm counting on you. All right. Oh, Samus hides. Those Samus hides are easy to get. That's that's a piece of piss. Uh, the Shamos are the little, kind of like Jagras in ancient forests. They're like these little side monsters that aren't, they're super easy to kill. Uh, is there anything else we can do here? Otherwise, I'm going to head back to a base that I actually understand. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any quests anywhere. Yeah, no, okay. So let's head back to our main uh, Astera. We're going to go to the gather. No, not the gathering hub. We're going to go to the trade yard. That's what we're looking for. There's a lot of things this game could do better. Uh, one of them is like, sometimes when you want to talk to a character, it's left click. Sometimes it's right click. Or not necessarily talk to a character, but like uh, open chests and things like that. Why does it switch? I have no idea. And then there's this whole like... The menu there where you want it to go is upside down compared to the lifts in um, Astera. Now I understand why Astera is. It's first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. Great, that works. But why aren't why aren't they in the same order on like the map list? It would make it a lot easier to not accidentally go somewhere you don't intend to go. Strange thing. Hey you, look, you look like you're not doing anything. How about you take this job off my hands? What's the job? The old lady at Bagant Botanical Research needs some stuff for this fertilizer she's making, but as you can see, I've already got my hands full. Really, you'll do it for me? That's a relief. Glad you finally decided to pitch in around here. Hey, lady, fuck you if you're a lady. I'm not sure. Coral bone, we have that. Uh, actually, the 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 the, the, late, the the botanical garden is something that you want to do. Those quests. Good to see you. Splendid. The fifth fleet. Just who I was looking for. At present, three go-getters are studying the Paolumus behavior. The three scholars are prepared to cross the Great Ravine and explore the Coral Highlands, if that's what it takes to pursue the Paolum. The quest is called White Monster for a White Coat. Any assistance you could give would be most appreciated. Okay, we got a new... I already captured the Paolum. Do I have to do it again? Oh, I got a login bonus. Yay! And you get, like, the lucky vouchers. You get five every time for one of these... Uh, one of these login bonuses, so that's pretty neat. We could turn in a bunch of shit here, couldn't we? First, we got some research flora, flora, honey. I think I emptied my list. Capture two large monsters. Now, this is stuff I've been working on as I've been playing on my own. So don't don't freak out if you didn't see me pick up a bunch of flowers and shit. Uh, let's see, register. I have pretty much. Hey, I already did that. How is the Paolomu not a big Vyvern? Everything else is a Vyvern in this goddamn game. Yeah, sure, let's get that. We can get small monster calling as well because I'm going to go for the Shamos. Mm, insect is kind of a bitch. Well, we have two of them, so I guess we can might as well just grab both of them. Maybe I'll do that at the Wild Spire Waste. There we go. That's perfect. This is stuff I'll be doing on my own anyway, so you don't you don't give two shits. Is there anything else I can do? Ooh, I should go check what I could make with those pieces I found. Because uh, now that I'm going for insect glaive, there or there, yeah, insect glaive. There's a lot of stuff that I I kind of need to look at. Oh, here's there a quest too. How do you like the new hunting ground? Things have gotten interesting around here. The fishery in the ravine has allowed us to bring a steady supply of materials from the far side back to Astera. I'm working on integrating those materials into our offerings here at the smithy. Have a look at the new upgrade branches for a weapon. I think you might be pleasantly surprised. What are we hammering together this time? This is interesting. I didn't know that they unlocked the... Well, I guess it's when you get new monsters, it unlocks more branches. That's probably how it runs. I didn't really get anything done here. Uh, there's new trees, for sure. Uh, if you look at the... Let's look at... Uh, let's go to upgrade. There's new trees, for sure. But I can't really get any of the new stuff. And the one that I'm using right now is pretty goddamn good, in my opinion. Like, I, I would really like to upgrade it to this one, but I have no idea what that 
required material is in the Poké Poké tree. But yeah, that would probably be really nice. Uh, I'll look into it. Maybe maybe we'll get that some sometime in the future. But uh, other than that, I don't know. Like there was armor I could have made, but then I'd lose this uh, adrenaline buff that I get from the Andronoth set, and it's fully upgraded already. So I'm not super stoked about that either. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay low for now and see what happens. I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna be playing this on my own anyways, uh, hunting like monsters that don't belong to any quest and just like getting gear so in that sense there's no point in really like right now doing anything rushing into anything but i think in the future that i will continue using the insect glaive at least for a for a good time because it's interesting it, it feels kind of fresh and it's it's more fun uh to play than the hunting horn even though the hunting horn is very good with the buffs it's so slow and clunky. This one feels more like my kind of my kind of speed. I want to get good with this weapon as well. So, either way, I'm gonna end today's episode right here. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share my video and channels with other people with ultra wide screens and or people who like to watch Let's Plays because that's what I do. Uh, in the next episode, we will probably be heading into the what was it, the Rotten Vale or something like that. Again, a new area. They're really feeding you new areas here. But before that happens, I'm going to spend some time in the Coral Highlands hunting down shit that I might use to uh, make myself better. So we'll see what kind of upgrades I have in the next video. But for now, we're going to say bye-bye.